The beauty of watercolors is that it's so clean, it's portable. Um, I'm coming off a history of painting in oils and acrylics where, again, you have, um, it's a different type of painting. You're painting with fresh paints in oils and acrylics and you have different uh, solvents you need uh, to, to mix them, to blend them and whatnot. And, and my first time touching watercolors or watching a watercolor demo, I was really enthusiastic and curious and I uh, just kind of fell in love with the demonstration. This is years after, you know, college degrees in the art studio field. Um, it's much looser and freer, uh, a medium than painting with oils and, and acrylics. Um, the brush is a little different, the, the hair is a little firmer. Um, you're just using water as, your, um, as an agent to dissolve the colors. And the, the trick with the watercolors is that your wetting surfaces um, to make them more absorbent and you'll have the paints kind of dissolve and float and then sink into the paper. Um, what's great about it is it's spontaneity. You have a lot of accidents happening um, where the painting gets out of control. Um, you're, in, you're in less control in a watercolor painting than in an oil or an acrylic painting. That's kind of the fun of it that it's um, when, you, when you start uh, when you start painting after you've sketched in some kind of a sketch or a composition, you don't know what you're going to get. So you may have a plan, you may know everything about drawing, sketching, composition, values, and I'll go all, over all of these things in class. I'll show you the importance of um, the dynamics of a cohesive composition. I'll go, go through values, darks and lights, looking for patterns of darks and lights. I'll show you how to mix colors to create secondary, tertiary colors. I'll show you techniques to get textures, uh, lifting, stenciling, or whatever. But in the end all, until you start painting and experiencing, it's kind of a wild beast. I can show you and tell you so much, but until you jump in and start painting, you're on your own and you're going to experience you know, a lot of spontaneous accidents that happen. and, and until you get the experience, you know, under your belt of days of painting, weeks of painting, months of painting, um, you're, it's, it's like a learning process. It's just so, um, you know, accidental, it's fresh. I, I can't say enough about how it's kind of like a wild experience where you're going you're gonna to come in not knowing the answer. You may have a subject in mind, uh, and yet the painting kind of takes over, and I, I encourage artists to let their paintings kind of take over you. You're in control and in a way you're managing the set design, you're the lighting, the atmosphere, the color choices, um, but a lot of times the painting needs to take control and t tells you what to do. So I try to guide students to kind of um, let themselves go and be themselves. Uh, again, I always tell all the artists I meet and, and through the Art Center, I've met so many wonderful talented people coming in here um, that you, 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 you can't, you have to let your personality out. Um, you don't want to paint like me or a famous artist. You want your own personality to kind of exude and uh, escape uh, on the paper.